everybody, my name is Shade and welcome to my channel. In today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to divide small and big numbers using the bus stop method. First, let's start with division with no remainders. Here's an example of division. 64 divided by 2. Now, I'm going to draw the bus stop and write the 2 here and the 64 here. Now you do, how many twos go into six? To find out, you need to use your two times tables. One times two equals two. Two times two equals four. And three times two equals six. So three times two equals six, so the answer is three. And to make it easier, just cross out the six. How many twos go into four? You've already got your answer up here. Two times two equals four, so it's two and still cross out the 4. So there's your answer, 32. And you write the 32 where you've written your question and 64 divided by 2 equals 32. Here's an example of division with remainders, 22 divided by 7. I've already written it out for you here, 7 outside the bus stop and 22 inside the bus stop. Now how many 7s go into 2? We know you can't do that, so you put a zero and you cross out the two and you carry it over to the next number. So how many sevens go into 22? Over here, I've written it out. One times seven is seven. Two times seven is 14. Three times seven is 21. And four times seven is 28. Now, 21 is underneath 22, so you need to do that one. And it's three times seven, so you write three here. And how many more numbers do you need to get to 21 to 22? 1. So you write an R for a remainder and you write 1. There's your answer. Here is an example of division with remainders, but this time we'll be using a three digit number 242 divided by 6. So now you do how many 6 is going to 2? 0. And you cross out the 2 and carry over the 2 next to the 4. How many 6s go into 24? For this you need to use your 6 times tables and I've already done it here. 1 times 6 is 6, 2 times 6 is 12, 3 times 6 is 18 and 4 times 6 is 24. So you write your 4 here and cross out the 24. How many 6s go into 2? We've already done it here and it's 0, but you still have this 2 left and there's not a number next to it, so you do remainder 2 and then you cross out the 0 because you don't really need it when it's at the start. So the answer is 40 remainder 2. That's all for today's lesson. I hope you have enjoyed today's tutorial on division. Thank you for watching my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe by clicking the button below. Goodbye.